Um, I had to quit alcohol. I used to miss him a lot. Um, my favorite drink was Saint Clair wine. I would buy the biggest one. I don't know what they, what they call it. Is it a flagon? Yeah, one point five liter, something like that. And I would. I would just not share it with anybody <laughs> oh hello my loves welcome back to this is what i do if you're new here my name is zanele malandule but you guys can call me z or you can call me rich auntie on this channel we live we socialize we advise we do diys we cook we host we do public speaking we do podcast we vlog as well if any of the above mentioned aligns with you please do not hesitate click that subscribe button like share and do leave your comment i am done keeping you waiting here is my dirty laundry <laughs> so yeah guys i've put down some few pointers here and uh yeah so the first one mm, mm -mm. um i had to quit alcohol i used to miss him a lot <laughs> after you know yeah deciding that i wanna I wanna, I wanna do God's things now, you know. I, my favorite drink was Saint Clair wine. I would buy the biggest one. I don't know what they, what they call it. Is it a flagon? Yeah, one point five liter, something like that. And I would, I would just not share it with anybody. <laughs> I would drink it by. In fact, when I decided to drink, I would actually just drink so that when I go to bed, I feel like the. The world is going around, like it's going round and round and round. That is the feeling that I liked. That is the feeling that I wanted. That made me want to drink alcohol every now and then. So yeah, I liked sweet wine, and uh, it was it was it was my favorite. And I did so many bad things. <laughs> I danced. I danced so badly. Um, it was. It's it's even embarrassing thinking about it. <laughs> when when you are when when you're a person that is drinking alcohol, obviously you're gonna have a drinking party. So I had one friend of mine whom I would you know just buy booze and and, and, and meet up with, and we would go get food and just drink for the night. And when I had to go home, my boyfriend who is currently my husband would come and pick me up. Basically, I had to be carried out of the house into the car that is so embarrassing <laughs> okay second point <laughs> i had to change my dress code remember earlier on guys i did try to actually say to you that a lot of churches are allowed to write their own doctrines provided that they feel that whatever they are putting down as the church's law um, it's going to help shape or help uh, mold the church of Christ uh, into the correct direction because as Christians, we're supposed to be different. Our ways of doing things are supposed to be different from the worldly ways of doing things. So uh, the teachings that I got from the church that I go to was changing my dress code. Boy, was that hard. That was really hard. I kept going back and forth with with how I, I was dressing. Just really hard because I like jeans a lot, and uh, yeah, I would wear I would wear also mini skirts and uh, <laughs> yeah, I it wasn't so bad, you know, the way I was dressing. But yeah, um, having to actually just come to terms with the fact that I have to change how I look and. How I dress it was really hard because it wasn't a thing that I saw myself doing you know but when the spirit actually speaks to you when God comes to you in that way he makes it easy for you to accept the word of the Lord as it is he makes he makes your heart go go numb you know to his teachings and you just you know just you just want to accept it and just say You'd be, but what came to my mind at that point was the fact that if I want to be a, to, to become a Christian, I should just become a Christian. You know, there's no putting one foot on the other side and the other foot, the other foot on the other side. There's no punching in and out when 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 you want to become a Christian. It's either you do it or you don't. So third point was um, I had to stop attending. Um, 
ritual ritual gatherings i don't know if the term is correct but yeah i had to stop doing that because god actually he says i'm a jealous god so uh at home i went at home to explain to them that guys i'm a christian now i'm not gonna partake in a lot of you know ritual spiritual gatherings whenever you host one of those here at home please don't call me and my money isn't gonna help as well my car isn't gonna come to assist and i'm not gonna be presently there telephonically i'm not gonna assist um i'm just gonna be asked absent you know on good fridays i'm not gonna come here so that we can go to the graveyard and do our usually rituals because I, I i i only have one god to praise now and um i'm not gonna come you know if 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 you're worried about cleaning the graveyards call me any other day just don't call me on a specific day you know please my family my dear family i love you so much but I'm not going to do that anymore. I believe in Christ. I, I understand the word of the Lord, at least some of it. You know, I just want to live and abide by God's law. And uh, surprisingly, yeah, till to this day, I'm not sure if they understand. But I think they do understand because they don't, they don't call me. <laughs> they don't ask me to come home on Good Fridays to go to the graveyards and to go clean up and slaughter maybe a chicken. Uh, I don't know. I forgot what else we used to do. <laughs> yeah so um i had to stop doing that uh based on the understanding that was preached to me based on the word of the lord that was preached to me so uh point number on what point okay yeah guys i had to stop doing my hair as well huh. I had to stop relaxing my hair, plaiting my hair, using extensions and putting on weaves and wigs. Uh, I'm not sure which way they use now. I had to stop doing all of that. Um, one thing that I, 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 I liked doing was, was doing hair. <laughs> and it was one of the skills that I had when growing up, as you, you know, had me say on my previous video. It was one of the things that when I was growing up, I liked doing so much because obviously it was extra cash, you know. So now coming to terms with the fact that I can't do my hair using extensions, I can't relax my hair, I can't, I, I'm, I'm not supposed to show my hair as it is. I'm always in dukes and heads and uh, yeah, and caps. I'm, I'm not sure if, I don't think I'm allowed to wear a cap, but there's just those occasions whereby I'm just, God, please forgive me. I just want to wear a hair today, a, a, a cap. Can you just please? <laughs> uh, it, I think it goes with the attire, you know, what you feel like you want to wear today based on the occasion. So, yeah, I just, um, I had to stop doing my hair. And I'm really good with plaiting people's, plaiting people's hair and doing hair. You know, I was, I was really good. I was really, really, really good. And when I had to stop that, uh, my customers kept on asking, Zanele, why, you know, you, you, can't you just stop doing it to yourself and just, you know because we're paying i was like um you know when you can't you can't do something to somebody whereas on the other side you yourself don't practice that i don't know what is the term that i can use in order for me to just explain that in a simple way but i didn't feel comfortable doing it for somebody because it's now in somebody's head and it's okay but it's not okay when it's done to my head i just had to keep it real and say if if, if it's something that i'm not doing myself and practicing myself it's something it's, it's, it's something that i'm not gonna do to another person so uh i'm just gonna just leave it so uh yeah point number five i had to stop doing um makeup as well I think hair and makeup they go along together <laughs> there's no leaving the other and doing the other so i had to stop doing makeup um yeah as plain as i look now it's how i'm gonna show up on the rest of my videos so uh there's no spicing it up there's no feeling like a certain occasion there's no feeling like um being in a certain mood um there's just you 
you know, plain, plain and simple. You know, just wash up and dress up. That's that's about it. And point number six, I had to stop doing my nails as well. I had to stop going to clubs. Well, I wasn't really going to clubs as um, I I didn't like the the vibe there. You know, other people peeing on the other side and others smoking and others, you know, you know those those clubs. <laughs> So uh, I wasn't a person who liked, you know, going to clubs and stuff like that. But yeah, I would go to those, you know, parks. I still go to parks, but um, it's different parks, you know. Uh, it's uh, it's quite complicated because other parks, they have places where they sell booze and places where they sell, they don't sell booze, but they sell food. And yeah, I just, I might, some days I might find myself there, but I don't I don't go to the clubs anymore uh, but with that having to quit that it wasn't actually an issue as I was I was really scared of those places so I just stayed away from them um, I just I, I didn't have a problem it, that came naturally <laughs> I was a boss when it came to that <laughs> so point number eight yeah I had to I had to work on how I spoke to other people I'm still working on that. I'm still working on that, by the way. Um, it's not easy to constantly watch what you say, you know. Well, <sighs> I'm known basically as the person who just talks, you know. Yes, I mean well, but the words sometimes they come out incorrectly. Not incorrectly. They come out... I'm a blind talker. Like, I just tell it as it is. You know? The truth is the truth. I just believed that a person is just supposed to take it. And other people, the truth didn't actually just sit well with them. So, I had to find ways to speak the truth, but not in a way that is, you know, just punching, you know, like a punching bag. I had to find a way that is much calmer and super understanding and yeah just to address some of the issues with the people that I live with because I would just talk you know however I'm thinking it it's exactly how it's gonna come out and because I am correct I just stood there you know not minding what I said and the person the other person will probably be hurt but then again being a Christian um, calls for one to never stop working on themselves you just never stop working on the on yourself no matter what you need to just keep growing point number nine is that I had to limit to limit my circle of friends having a lot of friends it means that you are gonna have to deal with a lot of personalities and some of our friends they have a lot of hold over us and uh, they have they carry a lot of influence as well towards us when you are trying to find yourself as a christian and you're dealing with a lot of things that are happening happening to you spiritually you don't want to constantly have you know your friends questioning your beliefs because a lot of the people that we live with have different lifestyles they have different beliefs and views over things and certain things basically so what you want to do is that you don't want to keep you know a large circle of friends when you are currently you know trying to transition from the person that you were to the person that you're currently trying to be and you don't want to you know have a lot of people that are constantly going to be questioning how you do things now and, um you'd find that some of the things that we are trying to run away from as Christians, some of the things that we are trying to leave behind as Christians, you know, our old lives, our old lifestyles, you'd find that those are the things that our current friends or our friends are still currently partaking in, still currently doing. So that might actually like, you know, take you back a little bit or throw you off the road a little bit. 
because those things that um those worldly things are actually nice like really nice <laughs> and very tempting and super cute like the devil will the devil will sell you his his things you know and the devil the devil's things are really are really enjoyable <laughs> Yeah, they entertain the flesh a lot. So you might just want to watch that, you know, and just stay true to yourself. You might just want to have to try harder. What is my point number 10? Ah, I had to stop going to parties. Me. <laughs> I had to limit, you know, going to parties. Unless it's a party that I really cannot say no to, you know, I would probably attend the party, but then I would be so vigilant in a way that, you know, when things start to, <laughs> to get busy and people are just starting to get loose, you know, it's now, you know, after hours and, and, and stuff like that, and the event is actually now finished and people are starting to just loosen up, I would probably, you know, start to sneak you know to the gate and into my car and i would probably be bouncing i'd probably bounce um during that time you know if it's a party that i really cannot say no to so i would that would be you know the thing that i do there's a lot of things that happens to to, to part in parties and those things they may include the way you might have to dress up some of the people they don't <laughs> <laughs> some of the people that you know host the parties they they wouldn't like a grandma like me who's always in dresses and dudes and heads to, to 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 show up in their pictures and ruin their pictures so i didn't wanna i i don't wanna offend anybody and i don't wanna get offended so what i do is just i just i just stay away you know i just prefer not to attend you know if it's something that i can say no to i think i yeah i would probably say no i'm not i'm not gonna come please don't expect me um based on on on, on the knowledge that was preached to me based on the word of god that was taught to me you know parties there isn't much that 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 come there, there isn't there is there isn't that many things that are good that come up that come out of parties that involves alcohol and uh, a lot of things so christians you know in the church that i, I go to they are encouraged <laughs> encouraged not to attend a lot of parties unless unless the party is you know at your relative's house and uh yeah it's a close friend and uh yeah just you know just be vigilant you know look at the things and see where you actually fit in you know because whatever you do you represent the word of the lord whatever you do whatever the situation